I'm going over, I'm showing off the little popper. I use this at times for troubleshooting shorts. Comes in handy. It comes with two male spade connectors on a wire. Also, it can be mounted permanently besides just troubleshooting. If you have a system that has nuisance trips and for whatever reason it never happens and anybody's there troubleshooting, this piece here, you drill a hole. I've never done it or left one behind like this. It also has a felt if you want to just stick it to something. It's got a sticky pad on it. But you drill a hole the size of this. You got that lip, it acts like a wash on the bottom. Put this over, you stick it through the unit or wherever you want to mount it. You lock it down, and then you leave it in the system. So instead of blowing a fuse, you just trip this. You sell your customer it, put it in their unit, and then you're not just swapping fuses. You can save yourself a lot of fuses, because when you're troubleshooting a short, you don't want to change fuses left and right. You want to go in with a resettable circuit breaker, you hook it up, you plug it into your unit, and you start troubleshooting. Once you've found your problem, then you can start putting three amp fuses back in. Well, let's go check this unit out. All right, so here I am. This is what I found. I brought the little popper in. As you can see, this fuse is toast. So therefore, we have to find out why this fuse fried. See the burn mark on it. So the little popper, I'm gonna eliminate its wires. We can go straight on to here, can we? Or is it too big? <laughs> mm. Oh, Lennox, Lennox, Lennox. Can't go straight on. Let's see, did they make these smaller? They can go on. No. Hmm. Why? Why not? <laughs> okay, so since I can't go in the stake on, what I'm gonna do is right behind the stake on, I'm gonna slide it, and it's gonna be a tight connection anyway. So now, I know the power is off, let's just double check before we start playing around with other wires. I mean, the fuse is one thing. We gotta find out why that fuse blew. They don't just blow. So, what is our incoming voltage? We have zero, just like I knew. Now let's turn this thing on. Bing, all the way up here. 203. Turn it right back off. So our voltage is not that high. We did not blow this yet. Oh, but we do have, because it's a brand new unit and I'm setting it up, we do have a transformer, which is set for 240. That's a big no-no. If your voltage is lower, then I'm gonna say 220, go to 208. If it's like 225 and up then you could do the 240 side but you don't want to do the 240 side if your voltage does not justify it because then you won't be making enough low voltage here before we move it let's just see what our 24 volts well our low voltage on 24 volts it's what our transformer is able to produce so now we're gonna check is R and C. We've got 23 volts. Let's turn that off. 
So right now we had 23 volts. So let's make sure we have no voltage on these wires. Nope. Okay. My fan setting. That's one of my fan speeds. So we're gonna take this off. We're gonna take hold up. Now it's just kinda hanging out. It's got like a little tab around it. So I'm gonna hold it down. Switch it over to 208. Put this cap here. Now let's turn it on and see what our low voltage is. RNC 26.7. That's a lot better. So we have good voltage now. That could have been what caused this to trip. The contactor could have been shattering from not enough power. Because we didn't trip yet. Or one of these guys doing the smoke and stuff tripped it. Since we didn't trip, what I'm going to do right now, close it up. I'm going to leave this in here. I got numerous other units to work on. I got five units to work on while I'm here to start up with brand new equipment. I'll let it operate throughout the day and then see if it trips at all. And if not, I remove that and I pop in a regular three amp fuse. So I'll leave these in the unit along with the dead one. I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. Yeah, right. This, this has been going all day. I worked on numerous units here. So this has been working the whole time. Blaming it on the transformer. Yeah, hand up there. Most likely not putting out the proper low voltage and possibly a contactor shattering or something. So let's get in here so I can get my breaker. And put a fuse in. I love working up on a ladder and stuff. Power is off. Nice and cold in here. Good fuse. All right, it's back in business. Take these with me. Take this with me. The little popper. It works. It's always good to have a resettable breaker. You can pick them up at any supply house or online, I mean. I don't think I'd buy one ever again. I have this, I bought it, see how it was. But I'm just. I don't know, for me, I have other tools for this. This is the reason why I wouldn't waste my money if I ever lost that little popper. I mean, I just wanted to check it out and see. And it, it's actually, if I have to sell a customer a breaker, that's a good idea, that little popper. But for most things... I keep these two wires usually with this. I also, in my truck, have a setup where I have these connectors on both sides, two females instead of male spades and female spade connectors. This thing you get for free. If you do any Lennox's, most Lennox circuit boards, there's always these upgrade kits, and on these upgrade kits, well, you end up getting this for free. And I got so many of these things. I mean, I got like 
I got these in like, I got four or five of these. I gave them so many away. And I mean, if you got a short, it just trips. This thing's a lot smaller than that. Little popper. I mean, the little popper makes sense. I mean, you can sell it to somebody if you want to leave it in their furnace. If they got those nuisance trips. Otherwise, for troubleshooting, this thing is smaller. Takes up less space. But it's whatever your preference is. It doesn't matter. I'm not going to say don't spend money on the little popper. But my preference is this for troubleshooting. I've been using this thing for years. The little popper I've owned for a while, and I've only used it a, a handful of times. This I use on every short. There's a breaker like this. They do very similar things. That's the only reason why I don't think I would. back together, I'm done.